Yeah, so let's just start with uh, like 101 stuff, stuff about blackout problems. So uh, could you, for beginning, uh, tell me a bit about blackout problems, who and what is the band? Yeah, we're a band uh, called Blackout Problems. We are a four-piece uh, living in Munich, Germany. Uh, we were born and raised all over Germany, and uh, Marcus, our bassist, was born in uh, Austria. Um, we're friends for a couple of years now, and we started making music about 2012, I guess. I joined the band in 2016, before that, I was the merch guy, and uh, suddenly, at some time in 2016, I guess, uh, I had a guitar in my arms, and then I was like, okay, you're playing the second guitar now. Uh, we, we, we talked about that for, uh, for some time. I, that Blackout always was a three-piece, and uh, they thought about a uh, second guitarist, and... Uh, I was there, and so since 2016, we are four piece, and we're doing a kind of a, a rock music. We're we started with guitar, bass, and now we're more like rock music with uh, experimental things in it and synthesizers. And we called our our music uh, dark pop because it's always hard to describe what we are doing, which kind of music are you playing? And we're, yeah, we're kind of a rock band, but we created on the album a, a subgenre, I guess, and we call it dark pop, yeah. Yeah, you have the new album coming up. Let's talk about that shortly, but uh, could you first tell me a bit about how the creative process is for your albums? Because like you said, uh, the band got together in 2012 and the upcoming album is only the third one in that time. Yeah, it's only the third one, uh, but we uh, released during the, uh, during the albums uh, some singles and a live EP or something like that. You must know that we are a touring band. We, we're always on the road normally uh in the years from 2016 to 2019 in the end uh we every year we played from 70 to 90 shows really so uh normally uh we're touring and we're coming home and we're writing songs then we're on tour and we're writing in the in the van in the hotel in the rehearsal room uh, yeah, we're, we try to be creative wherever we are. Mm, but this time, uh, the origin of the new record had two extreme situations. On the one hand, the constant touring. But on the other hand, in March, we're coming home from, from a tour. And then there was the lockdown. And this side... Uh, being at home and being uh, in our small apartments in Munich and we uh, were not allowed to see each other that was an, an extreme situation for us and at that time in March we we had about 40 demos I guess uh, we we never wrote that much music uh, uh, for, like for that album and in March, we, we had those 40 demos and we were like, one month we're not seeing each other because of COVID. It was all new. The first lock lockdown came and we said, okay, we don't see each other for a month now. We, we uh, uh, everybody it's himself like me, I was sitting here and I was rehearsing the songs and the the album wasn't, ready to that time there were guitar licks i i didn't uh, uh brought to an end or something like that and yeah we all uh, used the the one month uh, in the lockdown in the whole whole march uh, for rehearsing the album then we met again for 10 days together um 
and we were uh, rehearsing together. Like, okay, we we were at home now. We we know the songs. Let's bring it together for like a band, like we are. And so we were 10 or 40 day, 14 days we were rehearsing and then we said, okay, uh, uh, it's studio time. It was different. We, uh, we used the time and the thing about the 40 demo thing is uh, it was a tough decision which song we, uh, we want to use for the album and which one we don't want to use. Uh, we choose 13 songs and we had the idea of writing an EP. Like we had this idea years ago when we released our second album to release an album and a short player like an EP because we, we don't want to focus on, okay, that's the album, that's the songs. We, we are always creative and there are so many demos for the album. So we decided, okay, so we, cho we chose 13 songs for the album and we talked about a documentary we wanted to do for the album and uh, about the inspiration we had. And so we decided to make a kind of a soundtrack for the documentary with the demos we didn't use for the album. So now we recorded 13 songs for the album and six songs uh, all by ourselves in our studio, totally DIY for the documentary. And we, uh, yeah, so we, we are going to release 19 songs uh, on January 15th. And that is very special for the whole pro project. It's not, it's not just an album, it's the album, it's the, the EP, it's a documentary. It's, a, uh, it's about one hour long with our friend uh, and filmmaker, Paul, Paul, it's an uh, Austrian friend. We made all this documentary and it was fucking exhausting, but I think it's a, it's a nice package and it's a, it's a kind of a footprint of what was happening in our lives in 2020 or 2019 and 2019. So yeah, it was big and a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, you already mentioned the do-it-yourself mentality you have. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, you have your own label and you uh, also uh, produce at least some of your uh, own stuff, for example, for the Chaos album. So how important is the do-it-yourself mentality for you guys? Well, uh, we're coming from, uh, from the punk scene, I would say. And uh, we always wrote songs by ourselves. And we, uh, when we were younger, like when we were 18 or 19, we, we first released our first uh, songs and CDs with our smaller bands when we started. And uh, we, we didn't gave up that, that dream being a musician. So, so we went on, we went on, we go on, we go on. And uh, we released Holy by ourselves, Mario, our singer. He, uh, he's like the, uh, the label chef of, of, of our label Munich Warehouse. And, and he's, uh, he's the one like, he introduced me a lot of things I didn't know about releasing music. Mario, I don't, I don't, I don't know how but he learned the, the whole know-how. And uh, so he, he thought about, hey, let's, let's start that label and let's, uh, let's do it ourselves, our way. Mm. This album is, uh, is a cooperation between uh, our own label, Munich Warehouse, and uh, the a bigger label Sony music like RCA, RCA is called, yeah. We know how to release music in Germany, Switzerland and in, in, uh, in Austria in our little cosmos, I would say, I would call it. Uh, and yeah, we, 2019, we sat on a table and the thing is 
the the guys we from from RCA are, are fr friends of, of us. They are they played in, in punk bands and now they are sitting uh, there and uh, and doing marketing for for bands. We are the create creativity heads of music and the RCA team. They want to help us to spread the uh, the city in other countries and help us with uh, other things. Yeah. Nothing changed for, uh, uh, to be honest, in our working process since we're working with Sony. Nothing changed. Like we're doing the same thing we always do, but uh, the manpower and uh, some doors w you can open, like a door to UK, a door to talking to you right now, for example. Yeah, that's the thing. We are we're still DIY uh, 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 guys, and uh, we're still working from home, and we're still working in our own studio, and we're still producing our own music. And yeah, that's our spirit. That's how we learned it. I think that's the that's the best way to uh, to describe it. We learned the DIY way, and uh, we will go on with that. And uh, it doesn't matter if we're releasing uh, dark with a major label because we are fucking we are still fucking diy so yeah absolutely absolutely and from uh, that uh we could uh to wrap wrap everything up we could go to politics a bit because uh at least on the on the youtube series the fridays uh part there's already some politics politics there and I'm guessing that the whole documentary there will be even more so uh, how political do you guys are with the band or want to be uh, yeah I wouldn't say that we are a political band I wouldn't say we are uh, I would say we are a band with attitude and values uh, is it the right word values I guess uh, there are things happening around us and we are not for that we we are a band we want a a future for the world and we are we are not saying we are we are not like Nazis are bad or Trump is bad. We are not pointing like this is this, this is it. No. Uh, we want to spread love. We'd, we'd, we'd like to spread hope around us. We'd like to uh, make or we'd like to uh, make aware of things. And for example, in, in Germany, if we look around us, uh, we see how the right-wing parties uh, get more and more followers in, in Germany for the AFD, the alternative for Germany, the fuckers of Germany. Uh, when you're growing up in Germany, you grow up with a kind of a guilt because we all know what, what happened in the 30s and the 40s. And we can't uh, let history repeat itself. And what we can do is make people aware of things or failures which uh, happens around us. We are no patriots. Fucking no. Uh, patriotism doesn't help the world to be a better place. Uh, we all should be proud of, of Mother Nature or we should be proud of, of, of the Earth. We shouldn't be proud of of lines which are written in sand, like which, what I mean, borders. We shouldn't be proud of anything like that. Uh, we are not. I am, I'm talking for us. Um, and what we can do is make people aware of, of things. Yeah. And we, we always try to bring positivity and positive vibes to the people. Um, for example, the song Murderer, there are heavy lines in it. But at the end, 
we 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 try to spread the message what we wanted and what we want is love and respect yeah uh we're a band with values and uh yeah with an attitude i hope so and we try to make people aware that we are one we are a world and we are not uh uh we're not different we are we are the same so 